Hello everybody, welcome back to our uh, Revitalize Your Viz uh, first video log. Uh, we were doing this in the form of a webinar, but now we just moved to this new format for you, thanks to your feedback. So, my name is Diego Alarcón, for those of you who don't know me, uh, and I work for Waypoint uh, Consulting. And the tip uh, for this uh, month is going to be um, waffle charts. So we're going to talk a little bit about waffle charts and how they can help you um, to revitalize your business. So we're going to get into that in a, in a minute, in a, actually a couple of seconds. Uh, but first I want to give you a heads up. Um, the Tableau conference is happening this month. So the next month we're going to give you a couple of tips about the best things um, that we got from the Tableau conference and also the upcoming new technologies and new products that they will be launching. We heard about Maestro and about Hyper, um, so we're very excited to share with you all the things that we're going to learn if you didn't have the opportunity to go to the Tableau conference. Waffle charts. Why waffle charts? Well, waffle charts are probably one of the best ways that I've seen to represent KPIs, metrics, um, share um, using percentage of a whole, um, you can see here a couple of examples for employment growth, uh, affordable housing. Uh, so I think they're delicious, they're great, they're powerful. They also use the pre-attentive attributes like color, shape, and um, size, which is something we've seen in the past in our webinars about best practices for data visualization. Um, so I think they're really powerful and they kind of replace a little bit of the use of uh, widgets or speedometers. So uh, they're great for that too. If you're trying to look for something that use uh, less space and it's probably more powerful in the way of how you represent your the share or how far you are from a goal, um, waffle charts are probably the best bet. So let's try to build that with Tableau. Uh, here, one of the first things that you want to um, try to do is um, create your own um, data source you're probably going to reuse this every time that you're trying to create a waffle tr chart um, and i call this waffle data and it's basically just two columns uh, one for columns and one for rows um, which is what you're going to see here in columns and rows um, and you will have basically here one row for each column one row for column one one row for each column in column two and so on so you can have 100 different um, columns. So that's the first thing, have that. Every time you're gonna use uh, Waffle Charts, you will use that data source. And then um, before we start, I wanna mention that I'm using uh, probably a quick way to, to do this. Um, if you wanna have like a more detail or different ways of how to do a Waffle Chart, I highly recommend you to go over um, the Viz Variety Show by Ben Nebile or Yummy Yummy Tableau Love. Um, that's a great post about waffle charts and also Viz Wiz, Andy Krigel, who has a great take um, on this also. So this is probably, according to me, probably the best way to do it. Uh, so uh, columns, of course, you just use them in columns and then rows and rows. And then you want to make sure that you're using your mark square. And then uh, in order to color uh, your waffle, you want to make sure that you're using columns and rows as a combined um, field. So you just basically select these two fields and then create a combined field between columns and rows. So you can later use it into your detail and then color with that specific detail. And then the syrup. The syrup is different for every taste uh, for your waffles. Um, so basically what I'm using here is what I've seen more often in waffle charts in Tableau, uh, the index function. For those of you who use Tableau or start Tableau with your journey with Tableau with Tableau 7.0, index is what we used to use for ranking. Uh, so now uh, we've, we can use this table calculation to basically create the share of 100% here. So this is the calculation that I'm using. Uh, I'm rounding this to only two different different decimals and uh, whatever is in um, that round um, index will be color and then else will be black. So that's the calculation that we use 
uh, for the color or uh, how I like to call it, syrup. And then you just drop the syrup on your waffle. But before we do that, we want to make sure that this looks a little bit like a waffle. So how do we do that? Uh, first, you wanna you go to size and resize this so you can make it a little bigger like this. You just play with it until you get the size that you're looking for. You wanna make sure that you have colors with borders um, white so you can see the different colors in the waffles. Um, you probably wanna use the entire view so you can see it better. And then make sure that you have the right size. There you go, this looks a little bit more like a waffle. And then you wanna get rid of the headers. So you go to rows, get rid of the header, rows, get rid of the headers and columns. That way this looks a little bit like a waffle. And then you wanna bring your syrup on your waffle. And then you wanna use your syrup with um, the calculation between columns and rows, the combined field. That way you can see the way that you can see the different um, syrups in here. Um, then if you want to bring uh, this to a different, um, in this case, um, data source, you want to make sure that you bring that into your syrup, which is what we're using here. Um, if you go to syrup, you can see uh, that we're using profit ratio, which is coming from Sample Superstore, which is the table that we have here. And then we are going to um, use this buffer ratio and the syrup and then we're going to use the categories so we can see the different categories and the different share that they have per category so we drag and drop category into our filters and then select let's say technology and then we bring the profit ratio into our, into our labels so we can see the label um, of that ratio now if you want to see just one um, label here saying the amount of that percentage well, what you want to do is drop this uh, ratio into detail and then call it from a mark so if you go to annotate mark uh, you will be able to call this uh, ratio if you go to uh, since you have it here you should be able to insert that from uh, sample superstore ratio we can make it a little bit bigger and Let's say 36 and click OK. So now we have that number in here for your um, waffle chart. And then um, we can edit this so it's um, a little bit more transparent in the format. So we'll go there and remove all the shading. Um, that's it. And then we can change the color of your. Um, There you go, of your label here, so that way you can see it better. And then the last thing I want to do is probably change the color of your waffle. Uh, so it looks a little bit like waffle, so I'm going to go to brown, and I'm going to, blank is going to be this color, and then really brown is going to be the syrup. That way it looks a little bit more like a waffle. And that's how uh, it works. You can also sort the data so you can change the order of your waffle and how you're going to display this uh, colors you can bring it here if you want to and then you can use it later in a dashboard and then you can have one for technology for instance um, and then you can have another share for um, let's say um, let's just accommodate this a little bit better uh, I'm going to call this one um, what I'm filtering on, which is my um, go, and then I can just duplicate this sheet and do exactly the same for a different sheet. It's going to be my technology, and this other one is going to be my um, let's say what else do we have here? Uh, office supplies. Okay, okay. So dashboard now. And I can drag and drop my second sheet. Let me that one. And then I can go to the supplies. And I can even change that to the furniture, for instance. Click OK. And then see the percentage for uh, furniture and for technology. 
And then you can just play with your different uh, charts. You can add space in between if you want to separate them better. Um, have maybe different shit in here. And that way you can start adding more and more different charts. But again, if you want to go farther with this, this is probably the simple way to create a, a waffle chart. If you want to go farther and have different type of syrups, I will highly recommend you to go through those other um, posts. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed it and um, see, see you next time. Please remember to subscribe in here. And that, my friends, was another um, tip uh, for Tableau, uh, waffle charts. Again, this is something that I took from the, from the community. A couple of uh, people have been posting about this. This is my take on that and also just basically using that and try to leverage that within uh, the community. A couple of takeaways on that, um, a couple of like cons and pros. Pros, uh, waffle charts are amazing. I think they're great. I think they're delicious. Uh, but also they are um, they use the pre-attentive attributes of color, um, sh shape, and size, which is something we've already been talking in, 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 in webinars. So I definitely recommend them for that, uh, for that specific um, utility that they can give you. They're powerful, they, they, they provide insight, they're, they're, they're very uh, good uh, visualization. About, about cons is that you always need that table. I haven't figured out a way to do it without that. So if um, you have a large data set like Hadoop or something like that, it might be a little bit, um, it might slow down your dashboard if, it, if the data set is too big because you have to uh, bring uh, another table. Not too much, not too much. It will, it will impact a little bit of the efficiency. Uh, but yeah, that's a con. The other one, it, they use a lot of uh, space. So if you want to bring a lot of data, which is not a best practice, um, they will use a lot of your, the space of your dashboard. Um, but anyway, there's not, it's not a good um, practice to bring a lot of uh, data. So that's probably con number two. And next month, we're going to be covering a couple of tips about the Tableau conference. Um, maybe a little bit of a maestro or hyper. I'm so excited to learn th those new things and share them with you. So see you next month. Have a good one.